Hi, this is Mike from Master International. Thank you for joining me in this video showing you some of the features available for administering test takers. You can do most of the administration setup from the assessment screen that you see here. I'll start with some of the features available for individual responses. The first is the ability to rate a response out of five. Choose a response and click on one of the five circles to set the rating. Clicking on the final circle it's selected in the list will reset the selection back to zero. The rating is determined by you and is used to differentiate quickly between the candidates in the system. It is a personal rating and not something that the system will do automatically. You can rate a group of responses at once by selecting the responses and then using the rating menu in the respondent's title bar. You can also set a person rating for each test taker. The person rating is the next level up from response rating and allows you to give the person a score that will follow them throughout the system. This is especially useful in a situation where a person has applied for multiple jobs covered by multiple assessments or when identifying top performers or the best candidates. Applying a person rating can be done from the assessment view in a similar way to how you set the response rating. It can also be viewed and set directly from the people view or the person view directly. In the people list, you can both set the person rating and filter on the rating. This allows you to reduce the list to your chosen best candidates so that you can easily apply additional filters or group people together based on their ratings. For example, high performers and average performers. Metis allows you to set an expiration date for responses. Very useful if you have a deadline for applications. It's easy to set up. Select the responses that you want to set an expiration date for, then click Edit Expiration Date. This will prompt you for a date. Set it, click OK, and that will apply to the selected responses. Now, when the date has passed, you will get a reminder to delete responses on the home page of Metis which is great functionality for ensuring compliance with policies and data regulations. You can, of course, send out a new link to a test taker if you still need their response, or you can reset the expiry date on the assessment view. In order to help you organize your assessments and improve search results, Metis gives you the option to use folders and labels. These features allow you to group together assessments and people so that they can be viewed easily within the system. A folder allows you to group assessments together, this is especially useful if you have multiple departments with job openings. For example, you can group all HR job openings under the same folder and all IT openings under a different folder. This means that you can have instant access to all the assessments and people for a related department or topic. It doesn't have to be split by departments. It can be anything you like, and I'll show you how that works now. A folder and a label can be applied directly to an assessment, a person, or a criteria. Each assessment, person and criteria can also belong to more than one folder or label as well. To apply a label or folder to an assessment, you first need to create them. We'll start with the labels. Go back to the assessment list, select one or more of the assessment that you wish to apply a label to, find the label section and click on the plus icon to create a new label. Type in the label name and then click Add. The label has now been created and applied to the selected assessments. You can follow the same process for adding labels to people. To add an assessment or a person to an existing label, you simply need to select the person that you would like to add and then select the label from the list. The same process can be used to add labels to criteria. Folders are created independently, so you don't have to select an assessment, person or criteria first. There are two folders that all others are created under, public folders and my folders. Public folders are available to all users of your Metis partition, whereas my folders are only available to you. If you want to create a folder under public folders, then select public folders, click on the plus icon 
and that will create a new folder called New Folder. The text will be highlighted so you can just type your folder name in here. To save the changes, click away from the folder. You can create as many subfolders as you like by following the same directions. Renaming a folder is easy. Select the folder you wish to rename and then click on the edit icon and then type your new name. Once you've set up your folders, you can then start applying them to assessments. So open up an assessment, click on the add to folder drop down, choose the folder you wish to add the assessment to, and then you're done. You can also drag and drop assessments from the assessment list into the folders to make everything a lot more easy. You can also use the same process to add an assessment or a person to a label. To remove a label or a folder from an assessment or a person, open up the person or assessment, hover over the label or folder, and click the red X. Now that you've set up labels and folders, you can filter assessment, people, and criteria lists using them. Simply select the folder that you wish to view, and the list will update to show you the data that is associated to that folder. You can also filter on labels. Simply select the label in the drop down, and the list will be filtered. Thank you for watching.